Welcome to Word on Wednesday on this 23rd day of September. Today I'm coming to you from my office here at church. Many of you have probably heard that I have now um, announced my retirement coming in November. And so as I prepare for this next stage of life, one of the things that I have to do is to move out of this office, which has been my home away from home for 20 years now. There's a lot of things in this office, a lot of things besides just books. One of the things I love hangs on the wall over my desk and says, organized people are just too lazy to look for things. I look around and think, hmm, not very organized, am I? All right, I digress. The point is that my husband, John, has said to me in no uncertain terms, you're not bringing all that stuff home. So what am I going to do? Rent a storage shed? Well, saying that reminds me of this wonderful story from the Bible. Jesus said to those who were with him, take care, be on your guard, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. And then he told them this parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, what should I do? where I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, I'll do this. I will pull down my barns and build bigger ones, and there I will store my grain and my goods. And I'll say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you, and the things you've prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich toward God. Okay, so no storage shed. Of course, Jesus wasn't totally talking about our earthly stuff. He was also talking about the stuff inside us. Jesus was talking about the inter internal stuff that sometimes gets in the way of our relationship with God. Think about that. I've seen people with so much fear that all they can think about is defending themselves. I've seen people with so much hatred that they can't have a civil conversation with anyone. And I've seen other people who are so focused on the one single issue of our day that they can't see the hurt in the world. And somehow, many of those people have left God out of the equation. What's your stuff that's preventing you from coming home to God? What's in your heart that prevents you from coming humbly before your God? In what things, stuff, or people are you putting your trust that then prevents you from trusting in God? So today, I'm going to challenge all of us to think about our stuff, whether it's physical stuff or the stuff that's inside us. Get rid of those things and those attitudes that prevent us from being forgiving and loving and kind to one another. Let's let go of the words and the thoughts that hurt and instead ask God for words and actions that heal. Let us pray. Most loving God, clear the bad stuff from our hearts and our lives and fill us with good thoughts and desires. Help us to see the importance of every person the immigrant and refugee, the homeless, the hungry, the unemployed, the sick, the women who are being abused, all who suffer from fires, famine, and storms, and those who are different from ourselves. Grant us the ability to forgive, the desire to understand one another, and the will to work together for the good of all people around the world. We pray this in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Have a great week. We'll see you on Sunday.